Hi to Chaco. It's a map, right? We have Farseer here. Regiment also always goes Farseer. We've seen this map uh, now and then in some of these tournaments with, uh, you know, these weird maps. Different maps, I should say. And I like this map. There's a um, fountain in the center. It's a mana fountain, right? I believe it's always a mana, mana fountain. Or is it a uh, healing fountain now? Actually, maybe it's a random fountain. I'm not sure. We have a fountain. <laughs> so how old is Chaco? 30. This is a map. It's a map. It's a healing fountain. Okay, it's a random fountain, guys. <laughs> it's either a healing fountain or a mana fountain, just like on Norwood. With this footman, he's gonna creep. Oh yeah, this this map has all these delicious, these delicious-looking uh, animals. Look at them. They're just lobsters and prawns and crabs. It's just. Is there sound? Do we not have sound? Oh, I, at some point I accidentally turned off the sound. Apparently, uh, the footman here attacks the the shop. Here comes a farseer. Of course, he goes farseer. This razor man. For people that don't know razor man. Razorman always plays fast here. He is buffed so much in the next patch. Like they buffed Razorman more than anyone else. And uh, oh, the footman's around. Oh, man's around. Block. I guess he's uh, stuck now in the base. What a mistake here by Razorman. Even uh, even if this, this was the next patch, uh, this would be a mistake. We have. What are these peasants doing? They're walking in the forest. What the fuck? I didn't even know you could walk in there. Imagine all the wisps you can hide in there. The Farseer will have to TP or die. He can choose. Actually, maybe he can out get out with speech call. No, yeah, no, not enough hit points. Are you trying though? No, he can't. And that's a nice TP. We see a Payon repairing this while the Footman is attacking it. The Farseer could not try to defend it. The Footman is taking a lot of damage. Oh no, Razor Man again. How can he enjoy the game playing the same hero units and strategy for over 10 years now? It's It doesn't matter, you know, if you do the same strategy. Those tiny stupid mistakes, I will eat myself. I don't think that's... Uh, you cannot eat, the, eat yourself, right? I've never seen a Kodo accidentally eat, your, eat himself. I doubt you can do it, Razor Man. He's trying to get this uh, peasant. Can he get the kill? Can he get it? No, he, I think he should have just attacked. Maybe he didn't have vision on the peasant. No, the grunt. Don't move the grunt in. Okay, he doesn't move the grunt in. We see a blade here with the right clicks. There he gets a peon. This uh, wolf here working on this peon peasant. He, sh he could have probably killed that with the peasant if he wanted the uh, XP. 20 XP would have been uh, quite a huge amount of XP. Imagine a Razor Man with 1.29. He will marry with the Farseer. Yeah. He's been faith faithful for so long already. There's two more Wolfies. And meanwhile, is Blade going for the counter attack? Yep. Some Burrows here in the back. He's going for the shop first. He has a level 2 Arc Mage. Farseer cannot do too much here with the Arcane Tower. I think uh, Human, in this case Blade, can do more damage than uh, Razor Man can do. This Grunt shows up, attacks the Archmage in the face, attacks him now from behind. And he's going for these burrows. So there's another Water Elemental. Look at this, right click at this burrow. We have uh, four. Four peons repairing. Only four. Maybe he could put this one in so he has the other peon repairing and one peon defending. Uh, he's going to cancel the shop as well. And these two peons can still can do shit. Oh, uh, he does uh, seem like he uh, halt. He held the burrow. The voodoo launch can he. Yeah, it's also going to halt, of course. His bottom metal is going down. The farce here. 65 XP. Now, 107. 65, by the way, was uh, one footman and one peasant. That's all he got. And now water elemental. Archmage, can he get the wolfie? He gets a wolfie. 20 XP. What? Uh, what's the map name? It is green. the green kennel or the green kennel. I'm not sure it uses the word the. the but uh, green kennel. Uh, green because everything is green. And kennel because we have a kennel here in the center of the map. We have a Fire Lord here with uh, Lava Spawns. 
killed one peasant already. He's trying to kill more peasants with the grunt harassing as well. There's the arcane tower is not enough in this case, especially since the base is open. The fire lord should probably be attacking the arcane sanctum, I guess, instead of the barracks. Meanwhile, over here we have uh, some units attacking the archmage. Archmage gets away for now. We have a beastmaster here for blade. Look at these piggies. They're so beautiful. They're different color. He's going for the bestiary. Farseer is back, but you know, oh, lava spawn. Is he gonna multiply? No. Should probably move out of the range of the arcane tower. It's fine. This grunt is not fine. He got one burrow. Farseer is level two finally. Not that it's gonna help him. This wolfie goes down. This grunt in a bit of trouble. Oh, the fire lord is going back in, killing more peasants. He's just such a peasant killer. A lot of Farseer here is uh, trying to kill Footman and Grunts. Can he kill this Footman? With the, this Grunt can just fight the Footman. Hello. No, re no reason to run. Farseer, he buys something. Buys Healing Potion, Clarity. And uh, yeah, I mean, they both did a lot of damage. This game reminds me a lot of uh, Human Mirror. Okay, he just attacks it. At this point, he could have blocked it and made sure he got the kill. But maybe he didn't have enough APM because he also has his uh, Farseer to Micro. Um, nice game here. This Wolfie goes down. This Wolfie. Oh, the, uh, the Farseer has a healing potion, so that's uh, he's fine. He could be fine at least. Uh, uh, Archmage might have to TP out here in a moment. There it is. This Grunt, can he uh, kill it? I doubt it. Farseer also fine. He even uses the speed scroll on the Farseer. Oh, is he going to attack? Oh, he finds the Footman. The Footman is... I feel like he could have killed it, but he didn't put much effort into killing the Footman. Like one right click. He didn't try to block, he didn't try to attack and then move, attack and move with the Farseer. He does still get it. Okay, thanks Blade. Just a present here for Blade, uh, from Blade to, uh, to Razor Man. And these Sea Giants they look huge. They're weak guys, they're spaghetti. Just super epic death sound, I cannot even mimic it. The Archmage is almost level 3, the Beastmaster, Maggie, level 2. Meanwhile, the Farseer is gonna creep here with the wolves on uh, lava spawns. Go for the sea giant, the small one. And this is a sea giant hunter, he's big. <laughs> that attack animation is so beautiful. Uh, there again, these sea giants, man, they're so agile for being so big, but they're so weak for being so big. I mean, what are they made out of? Maybe they're made out of paper or something. Level two heroes. And actually paper is pretty strong and heavy. Uh, so not paper, like maybe like they're hollow. Only uh, their skin is made out of paper and like there's nothing on the inside. Archmage level 3, Beastmaster level 2, Fire Lord level 2, Farseer level 2. Oh, the overlay is of course not really accurate here. As you guys can see, the Fire Lord is for Razor Man. I fixed it now. Uh, he kills this uh, Prawn guy. School of the Beast, pretty good. And uh, this Wolfie goes down. This uh, Footman here is taking a lot of damage. We have so many casters in the back. Does he have Dispel yet? Not yet. Why does he not uh, prioritize Dispel here? There's three Priests. There's Wolfies and Lava Spawn. I feel Dispel is like super important. Oh, he's getting it now. Does he get it in time? There's some uh, Prawns more that he can Dispel as well for more XP. And Lava Spawns, Wolves. If he gets his Dispel, man, this is going to be so beautiful. Meanwhile, we have this Peasant dying. It's 38 against 40 supply. Speed scroll used here by Razor Man. His uh, Farsha gets around it. Oh, and he has nothing to save him. Healing Potion won't do it. Cloak won't do it. Heal uh, scroll of the Beast won't do it. He's going to die. And is he going to GG out afterwards? Uh, never mind. He just, you know, attacks, it, kills a unit and escapes. That's exactly what I was trying to say. There's no way he's going to die. Is uh, what I was trying to say. But I said the wrong thing. It was a typo. This Grunt here is going down. He does have Adept Priest now. Dispel these Lava Spawns. Does he have mana? Oh no, he doesn't uh, quite have the mana. There were, uh, for a few more units are going uh, down. Maybe this Sorceress is going down. She is going down. Maybe this Priest is going down. She yes, he's going down. Uh, he kills the Raider in return though. These units here are mighted back because they don't... Uh, they could just attack from the high ground. <laughs> That's what they do. It's 36 against 40. I'm not sure if Blade wants to stay in this fight now. He uh, has a TP and a info potion. Gives the TP to the Beastmaster and he TPs out. 
Uh, hopefully the priest will TP with him. No, the priest remains behind. He has to run. Run past the mushrooms. Past the trees. Past the shell. Past more trees. Past more mushrooms. Past the crab to get back to his friends. The Archman is almost level 4. Fire Lord is going to creep to level 3. Quite surprised there that the Rage Man won that, but I feel one of the reasons was the healing fountain, of course, is much better here for Orc than it is for Human. Uh, as it's percentage based healing, the Orc's units have so much hit points. The Human units are so low on hit points, so uh, yeah, the healing is pretty much twice as effective here on Orc units than the Human units. And of course, another uh, thing is that he didn't have Dispel at the start of the fight. That would have changed. That's the outcome of the fight for sure. For sure. The battle, this battle takes forever to resolve. Yeah, the healing fountain just prolongs the battle for so long. We have a birdie. Oh, look at this Archmage. If he gives his claws, <laughs> this Archmage plus 18 damage and he attacks so fast. Let's see if he kills everything. Let's see if we can kill this Wolfie. Oh, look, look how fast it goes down. Thanks to this Archmage. He's level 4 now already. 4 and 3 against 3 and 3. These Raiders, they kill this Turtle. Replenishment Potion. Does the Rage Man actually switch, by the way, to uh, Spirit Losses? I'm super curious. The Rage Man cannot win this fight for sure. He has a Speed Scroll. These Raiders are all slowed. He's going to die here. This is just... What the fuck? Uh, one Sorcerer does go down. This Raider is going to die. Does he have Spirit Lodge? Yes, he has. He's upgrading Adapt. He has a Kodo as well, which is interesting. I don't like that very much. Like, instead of this War Mill and this Kodo, I would have liked to see him prioritize the Spirit Walkers. There's no way he can win this fight, but he's slowed, so he has to take his fight maybe for his TP on the Beastmaster. He's not gonna work, but he's gonna try. The Beastmaster has an Info Potion and a Healing Potion. No TP, by the way. Uh, so he just tried to kill him. There goes a Raider, and the Beastmaster doesn't even need to use anything of this. Even he could use the Replenishment Potion and then get invist by the Sorceress for more healing. He used the Healing Potion. There goes a Raider. Uh, these guys can be dispelled. Does he use it? Yes, there's a dispels by by lava spawn. So much XP. Beastmaster level four. By the way, he was already level four, but I'm just saying. Also, if he invises the Beastmaster, he also heals a lot. And this healing fountain. He has an info potion. He should be fine. Is GG? GG time. Please move your uh, Beastmaster in the healing fountain range, please. He's yeah, surrounded by fire lord. That's nice. Uh, he's going to die, and this priest dies, and the sorcerer is invisible. This sorcerer, uh, this priest is invisible. This priest is invisible. But it seems the fire lord still managed to squeeze out. The Beastmaster finally moves in the range of the healing fountain, and he kills. Uh, I mean, someone kills the fire lord. He goes for a raider. This next raider also under attack. Do we see GG, please? Rage man. No, not yet. Okay. Uh, and snare on the Beastmaster. It's not that I, uh, you know, it's, it's maybe Rage Man can still win this game, you know? He is super good at this game. This Raider does go down, though. This, uh, this Farseer, though, I mean, he, you know, he can do stuff. There goes another Raider. Two more Raiders. Maybe uh, with the Peons. Oh, there it is. GG. Is this a good game, guys? Rage Man, of course, going Farseer again. He's going for an early shop. So he wants to uh, buy these healing selves early game. And of course, there's a Farseer for Razor Man. There's a shop. He will go for barracks. Don't worry. He will go barracks. At some point. He will go for barracks. There it is. He has 50 lumber, so he builds a barracks. 57 lumber to be exact. Building some peons. Here do we see an Archmage here for Blade. Your favorite race? I I don't have a favorite race, man. It's uh, I mean, at the moment, I feel a little, uh, human is fun to watch because uh, yeah, the games of human are fun. fun. But that could change any moment. YouTube has plenty of porn, actually. I guess like soft porn, maybe. There's the Archmage. There's the Archmage. Landazer, the Archmage. Here we have a Farseer with two wolves. Bale Bleakster. 
and let's see where he goes. Right, he buys, he buys healing self, clarity, and a scroll of uh, speed. He saves his TP, of course. I wonder if it's ever worth it to just sell your uh, TP in this matchup as well. Buy a circle on your farce here. Why not? Go for this peasant. This peasant is. Is it dying? The peasant here takes so much damage. Me will have a blade to scream and scream him. Tome of Intelligence is nice. If he picks it up at least. Belt of Giant Strength, not that great. Tome of Strength, also not that great. But he, he one peasant already. There's no Arcane Tower. I wonder why, uh, why Blade decided to do this. Creep this. Dumbbell Arcane Tower. He knows he's playing against a Farce here. He leaves the base uh, open. Also, these peasants, some of them are hurt. Oh, that's why, of course, for the first of Shadow Priest. He can take care of the Wolfies. At least two of them, though. Only two of them. And uh, the Farsi takes a bit of damage. He's healing this peasant. That's also a good thing here. Healing the peasant. And he got so much XP on the Archmage. But uh, isn't it time to build a tower now, maybe? This Wolfie. Can he get this peasant? He's going for it. He won't get it. And here come more Wolfies. And he got two peasants, and he will get probably a third one. And there's no arcane tower at all. But the Archmage is creeping though. The Archmage, if he gets level 3, he's gonna get level 3. I feel like before the Farsha gets level 2. The Farsha does kill another peasant. 75 XP. Can he get that peasant? He's trying to... He's, can he get it? He kills it. There it is. Another 25 XP. 100 XP points here for the Farsha. But the Archmage, he's so close to level 3. And if he just gets level 3 and just attacks uh, the base here of Razor Man, he can do so much damage. Razor Man has one grunt now. He's building a second grunt. And, oh no, he's two grunts. He's building a third grunt, in fact, already. It's still tier 1, though, for uh, Blade. Building a lumber mill. Getting more mercenaries. Is he going for a tier 1 towers? He might go for a tier 1 towers with a level 3 Archmage. With a lot of mercenaries. Footman mercenaries. Maybe even defend. He doesn't get defend yet. He has now a second first or shadow priest. So as long as he can keep his first or shadow priest alive, uh, with of course the bronze aura as well, he can dispel so many wolfies. But uh, this one is he could maybe block with a militia or something. Doesn't even try. So yeah, that first or shadow priest dies. Does he surround the grunt? No, he's going for the towers. He's like, okay, see you later. And he doesn't have defensive tower at all. So that's not good. Imagine if he had arcane tower. These wolfies couldn't do shit. Now these wolfies are still a pain in the ass. Uh, though Blade can do much more damage here. I, I do believe Blade's gonna win this game. But we'll see. Because these wolfies are doing so much damage here. And he does have a TP, TP, don't forget. These two peasants are going to die. Uh, level 2 Farce here, finally. Okay, this uh, Burrow won't live for long with a Berserker, Forced or Shadow Priest. Oh, there's a Fire Lord here, of course, for Blade. Uh, not Blade, for uh, Razor Man. Let me fix that in the overlay. Hello. The Fire Lord is for the Farseer. Oh, and can he defend? This uh, Burrow is going down there. It goes the first, so Shadow Priest. The Archmage is right clinging the Fire Lord. Can he kill the Fire Lord? Yeah, he's surrounded. He's going to die. The f there he goes. Berserker in kind of... Maybe should go for the Berserker. It's not in a great position. Just move this Grunt over here. Maybe can even move two Grunts over. And kill it with a Lava Spawn. Maybe even this Grunt could have reached it. It does so much damage. You want to kill that Berserker ASAP. But he goes for the uh, Archmage here. The, the Grunt's going for this Water Elemental. This Grunt dies. This Grunt is also going to die soon. The Berserker still pretty much full hit points. How many Grunts did he have? Hello. He still has five Grunts. He had like six Grunts. Uh, meanwhile, the Archmage kills a little Wolfie. And now he's going for this uh, Farce here. Blade's base is beautiful. No, not a single Lumber Peasant, by the way. For Blade. Oh, but the Farce here is in trouble. Does he buy Healing Potion? Yes. The Archmage. Oh, oh he might have the TP. I guess Rage Man is doing just fine. He's... Uh, he defended. He has a Fire Lord. He has Tier 2. Although he doesn't have any tier 2 buildings yet. He has a shop. Let's see uh, these bodies. We see two dead grunts. We see three dead footmen. The fire lord died of course. But our uh, arc mage had to TP out. Okay, Vault going up. What is he going for? There's a defensive tower. Is he going for an expansion? Is he going to 
try towers again. Is he trying to catch up on tech and go and uh, tech to tier 2? What is Blade's plan now? What's his backup plan? I thought he was going to do just fine, but no, he didn't do just fine. Whoa! Level 3 farts here already. Although these wolves still die in one abolish magic. Abolish magic does 300 damage. We have muddy. Muddy guys for blade. The mud golem. Second tower going up. First one arcane tower. Being upgraded. Oh, here comes the wolfie. Here is the dispel. Poof. Or is he just going to kill it? Is he just going to look at it? Oh, Tom of XP, who's gonna pick it up? The Farseer picks it up. And this Wolfie, uh, there's two more Wolfies. Does he dispel those? There's one dispel on one Wolfie, and that one dispel on the second one. Smart to keep his mana, but he dies. He dies. He's Grunt here. Oh, now, the, now he's going for the Berserker. With the Speed Scroll, but. Uh, right, because he killed Bundy already. Three Grunts here. Going for the Berserker. I feel like. Maybe not a smart move. Berserk just walks into a base there. If the guns follow, they die. Lava spawn follows though, but there's an arcane tower. The Berserker, he doesn't want to die, by the way. The Berserker, he's worth so much. He's down to how much hit points? 48, 32, 20. He's going to survive. And I think he even got the XP there. Archmage, meanwhile, just killing some more guns. He can steal mana if he really wants to. Uh, is there another first or setup piece available? He, it is. Could buy another one, get rid of two, some more wolfies, but they would die, of course, very very fast. Razor Man, what is he doing meanwhile? Is he building double bestiary raiders? Yeah, nice attack there on the far here. This footman in a lot of trouble. What is Ra oh, he's blade is uh, attacking chain lining, kills a few peasants. These wolf is pretty long hit points. He's still some mana now. The archmage is almost level f level five, maybe he can win with just the archmage. Uh, water, of course, uh, is strong against fire, against lava. We all know this from Pokemon. Like Magmar, he always loses to Squirtle. Uh, this current gets away, so the Archmage doesn't get level 5. Uh, he wouldn't have gone it anyway. He buys some mercenaries. There's a Tome of Strength, by the way, which he never picked up. Nice dispel on a Wolfie. He needs one more kill. Uh, but he might. Oh, there's level 5. But there's two raiders here. Is the Archmage going to die? Is he going to die? This would be GG. That's definitely GG, right? Razor Man wins this. Level 4 Farce here now. I mean, there's still some uh, units here for Blade, but... This level 5 Archmage is going to take some time. 110 seconds to come back. Uh, or unless he buys at the tavern. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, there it is. GG. Look at the green grass here as well. You see it's not all brown. You look on the minimap, you're like, oh, it's all brown. No, there's some green as well. And the frog, he can hide in the green. So that uh, people don't realize there's a frog over there. There's a shop, and of course there's a farce here. And of course we see an archmage. Of course we have a footman. Great. The peon here walks past the stack. Goes and chops up some trees. There's the farce here. He walks past the footman. The footman here. What's the footman going to do? He's also going to walk past the stack. See, everyone is walking past the stack. Seems like the meta these days. The bureau attacks the footman a little bit. Here comes Rageman straight for the neck of these peasants. Uh, some of these peasants. The old tower. This time he builds the tower. Last game he lost because he didn't build a tower. This game he builds a tower, so he's gonna win. Menu of health would be nice. Wolves going for this tower. Uh, actually, the tower goes down. Okay. Great. Tower got cancelled. Did, did it get cancelled? It did get cancelled. Militia here fighting against the wolfies. Uh, he tries to surround the Farsi. Doesn't quite get the Farsi here. Farsi has zero XP still. Still no peasants. The peasants going back to work. Wolfies going back to kill the peasants. That's just what I like to do. This peasant goes down to the Murlocs. This this Wolfie. Does he get this peasant? No, he doesn't. Farce is still 0 XP. The Archmage now level 2. 
280 XP. There's so much XP. Hello, man of health. Look, <laughs> he picked it up. <laughs> nice pick up there by the Farseer. And this Farseer is still taking a lot of damage to this Archmage. Attacks a wolf once. Does he attack it again? He attacks it twice. Does he attack it? Oh, Melissa, <laughs> look at him. Running away. He doesn't want to die. I, I, very understandable. I would run as well. Uh, this peasant forgot to run. He dies. And uh, the wolfies, what else can they kill? Can they kill more peasants? There's so many militias here trying to kill the wolfies. This wolfie does go down. Some more XP here for the Archmage. The Archmage doesn't need to creep because he can just creep these wolfies. So much XP given here by the wolfies. Uh, he kills another peasant that was hiding over here. Some barrel of explosives uh, that, you know, maybe you can kill over there. And, uh, yeah, how much XP do we have? 50. Two peasant kills. Can he get another one? No. Hello. Arcane tower is almost up. Militia are Oh, you're, you're targeted. Peasant. Stupid peasant. Okay, becomes Militia. I feel like he probably got the XP for one of those wolves at least. He summons two more wolfies. Kagar Winterfang, man. He is... He's coming from the north. Arcane tower attacking a grunt. Hello. Okay, nice micro here by the uh, blade. Making sure he attacks the wolfie. The wolfie is going down. He wants XP, so he attacks the other one. I, I, I don't think he got XP for one of those. And uh, Raiders are beautiful. T uh, speed scroll out here. Is it tier 2 yet? No, not yet. Okay. Almost, of course. Once he reaches tier 2, we're gonna see a Fire Lord. Rogue Wizard is... <laughs> I'm dead. Cloak of Shadows may be useful against Razor Man because he likes to focus heroes. Melissa here, Defense Force, but the, the farm in trouble. And the peon is repairing it. Instead of uh, building this farm, he rather repairs the farm. Uh, Razor Man just gets away, no problem. These wolves, oh, they got another peasant, but they did give another uh, bunch of XP. His Archmage is pretty close to level 3, while this Farseer only got a, the 63 XP's. 63, how did he get 63? He was 50 before. He got 13, oh, he shared XP for with the Fire Lord. So, th yeah, 3 Peasant kills is all we have for Razor Man. His Water Metal, though, will give it some more XP. And the uh, Fire Lord again. Maybe I should uh, have it recognized that Razor Man goes Fire Lord second. So it knows the Fire Lord is for Orc. Okay, let's see what he can do here. Razor Man, go for the farm. We have the Mountain King here. Do we have wolves? The wolf is going for these peasants. This peasant in a bit of trouble. Uh, Wolfie is go it's gone, guys. Wolf is gone. Archmage is almost level 3. Five grunts, one farce here. One Archmage, almost level 3. Fire Lord just uh, healing up, manning up. Double bestiary, of course he's going Master Raiders. Of course he's going Berserker Strength. He has five grunts. He just likes grunts. Five grunts, it's a lot of grunts. grunts. There's a Mount King, the Arcane Sanctum. Beautiful game so far. Is this on PTR? No. Is this series the end of your cast chakra or are you staying online? No, I have another treatment after this, so. Uh, after this, we have the Capsule Cup. This footman here takes a bit of damage. Overlay is not working properly. Anything besides that hero? No, right? That's just a hero. The yeah, footman is... He doesn't want to die, so he retreats here a little bit. Stormbolt on the Lava Lord guy, Fire Lord. And he wants to kill it. The Archbishop is kind of in a shitty position. But uh, you're doing that by Mountain King. Hello, bye bye Mountain King. He gets the Fire Lord, but the Mountain King goes down. Archbishop is level 3. He doesn't want to die. Uh, he has a TP. He could use it because he's surrounded. The Wolfies will probably fall when he's, once he TPs. He TPs. And the Wolfies. Oh, he summons new Wolfies. Very smart. The <laughs> Farseer Archbishop. No, Farseer was surrounded, but it doesn't matter because the uh, Archbishop had to TP out. The Mountain King will be back in a few seconds. Maybe then he can Stormbolt and surround this uh, farce here. This priest dies. We have Wolfie's very low hit points. There's no more mana for another Wolfie set. 
this grunt also oh we have sources now everything is being slowed so much militia here militia is so strong for uh blade against raiders no, no spirit walkers uh militia they kill grunts raiders everything that's slowed stormbolt on this grunt he kills this grunt as well oh taco did you hear new patch I, uh, there's new patch what what happened to the chocolate cup we're almost there we need another uh 80 euros or so or less i think we need like what 70 60 i don't remember exactly but we're almost there would be cool if there will be an inv invitational event to promote new patch yeah something blizzard has never done before blade kills the no overseer the mountain king is level two now but here comes Rage Man back again. Level 2 Farseer, level 1 uh, Fire Lord. He picks up a nice manual of health. Does he get, by the way, uh, Spirit Lodge? There's a Spirit Lodge. And he is one. He wants to kill a hero. A snare on the Mountain King. That's a hero he wants to kill. Archmage is another hero he wants to kill. He's gonna creep a little bit. What is the old version of the map? Three skeletons, no acolytes over here. Fire Lord, Cardi ever burning. Pretty powerful. He will get a level 3 Farsha now. And, well, he's still behind in XP, but not that far. Dispel there. Dispel for the priests. And Invis for the sorceresses. That's gonna be great. Does he know? Oh, does he go for a creep check? Oh, Razor Man. You could buy a TP if you want to. He has a speed scroll. Or he could just fight, but there's militia. How many spirit walkers? One spirit walker. Not really enough. No uh, dispo yet. This lava spawn is going down. There's, dispo no, there's no dispo yet here for uh, relate either. So these wolfies can just do whatever they want. Nice little chain lining. This raider though. Dying to the militia. There's a healing scroll used here by Razor Man. He's going for the Mount King. The Mount King has a healing potion. Does he use the healing potion? He used the healing potion. There's a TP on the Archmage. He might want to give it to the Mount King. He has a death by the way. He can invest the Mount King. But it seems the ensnare has been beautifully casted. So, but he trades the Mountain King for like a bunch of units. Like three, four raiders and some grunts. You can hear the grunt die there. Ooh, ah! You see four bodies of raiders. Like one, two, three, four. And now he goes for the uh, last few creeps. These footmen, they get ensnared. But the wolves, they might be able to kill them. No one cares about the footmen anyway. Besides you guys, of course. There goes another uh, wolf. And now the lava spawn is dead. Can he get his raider? He can get the raider. Can he block it with a uh, unit maybe? He doesn't even need to. Just one right click and the raider does die. And there's some golems over there. Okay, some more creeping here for a blade. This is a 50 supply raider, uh, raider man at 43. We now just need the mountain king back and then blade is in a really good shape. Nice uh, want of mana stealing. Not really the item he wanted. He just killed a bunny. I knew I heard something. He just killed an innocent bunny. Killing some skeletons as well. There's a nice menu of help. Archbase is level 5. Pretty good. Mount King level 2. Not the. Uh not that good. Right. Farsi level 3. Fire Lord level 2. Interesting. Arr. Meanwhile, over here we have uh, Blade Creeping, the Creep Camp. The Archmage doesn't need uh, XP, but maybe when the Invis, the Archmage, just so he doesn't get caught by you know imagine if rage man came from over here it snares the archmage and forces the tp you know to prevent that from happening you want to uh, maybe invest the archmage mount king's level three now this militia this militia this militia is going down we have more militia coming though and look at this attack blade at 59 rage man at 50 uh these guys can be dispelled do we see some dispels 
The wolfies go down. There's another wolfie there and the lava spawn. Uh, these guys are spread out beautifully. That's just so beautiful against the spirit walkers. Farsi is level 4 though and the coder shows up and he's like, I'm hungry. I'll let me eat a peasant. But uh, yeah, why don't you eat a peasant? He's not that hungry actually. This uh, raider is dead. This raider is, uh, you know, also dead. Like, strobbled on a coder beast. Like, that's what you get for not being hungry. Uh, inner fire on the mountain king, by the way. He has so much armor. This inner fire stolen from the creeps, I guess. With the priest. Stormbolt on the Kodo. Can he kill the Kodo? Not, not yet. Inner fire on the Mountain King is just so powerful. The Kodo is dead. Spellbreaker pops out. He's like, hello, I'm here. And there's a Stormbolt on the Farsha. He's going to die. And GG. What a GG. Does Razorman play Farsha first against Knight of Two? Of course. So Wolf's over here. Does he buy something? Yeah, of course. Healing Souls, Clarity, Scroll of Speed. On this on this map, by the way, of course, plan <laughs> maybe he wants some mercenaries, uh, Razor Man. Then you don't need raiders anymore. You just buy the Murloc with the Ensnare. wonder if he knows about the mercenaries. Uh, Blade just killing some Murlocs. That's nice. 132 XP. Here comes the Farseer. And he is going for a Peasant. This wolf, this wolfie, this wolfie is dead. Uh, Farseer here in the back, you know, he almost gets surrounded. The, the wolfie kills another peasant. He summons two more wolfies and he's going for this peasant now. He's uh, he's gonna lose a wolfie over there. He dies. And does he get his peasant? He almost gets it. He gets it. 25 XP, but he's gonna give this wolfie away. Yeah, he gave away the wolfie. Look, 50 XP already for the uh, farce here. Let's see if he can buy these assassins now. Is that what he's going for? Assassin and Murloc. No, he's not going for it yet. Or maybe period. He has a grunt there. Uh, the wolfie wants to get peasants, but uh, the Archmage doesn't want to let him get peasants. Let's see. Okay, there's no peasant to get actually. There's Arc Arcane Tower up. Level 2 Farseer Archmage. I mean, he got a wolfie. The clan now working on the Archmage. And what is Razor Man supposed to do? How are you supposed to harass here? You need to get these these mercenaries. Hello. Has he not seen Foggy play this map? Or anyone else really. This far she takes a little bit of damage. So many footmen there. There's two wolfies here in the back of the base. The grunt here just saying hi, just taking the damage of the arcane tower so the wolfies can come in and kill the peasant maybe. The one wolf already down, this other wolf can't get anything. He goes down to the militia. The far here just right clicking this uh, archmage. But the uh, archmage also is strong. He's riding a horsey. And he can right click the farce here as well if he wants to. You know, maybe buy some buy some boots. These grunts. We see these wolves go for this peasant. This right here defending this wolf. Kill the peasant. There's one more wolf here. And this wolf also goes down. So much XP on this Archmage. Wait, actually. I think he didn't get XP for those wolves. <laughs> I think they both died to the Arcane Tower. And this grunts here walking around the tree line. There's a fire lord, of course. Players' forces are under attack. Grunts are quite strong. There's the fire lord, and he summons lava spawn. Hopefully, the lava spawn is gonna move as well. He does move with the lava spawn. This map though is very burnable, right? So the lava spawn has to be careful that it doesn't set the trees on fire. This. Is Water Metal taking a lot of damage? The grunt gets around it. Wow! Can he save the Grunt? Nice face there by Razor Man. Can he save the Grunt? He, uh, he can't. Maybe he can uh, kill this Footman. No. The Grunt goes down. The Footman all survive. Nice survival there by the Footman. And he's... Uh, summons another set of Wolves. Two lava spawns. 
And the wolves go in for the peasants. While the, la while the uh, arcade tower... No, now he's attacking the uh, wolf. For a moment he was attacking the lava spawn. The archmage gets out. He doesn't run that fast. Not as fast as the orc units with the speed school. He has another speed school. This peasant survives four hit points. Wow, nice survival there. Uh, can he block? Please block. Oh, he doesn't have uh, expire. <laughs> he's about to expire. The lava spawn though can block. And that's a nice block here by uh, Razor Man. At least so far. So far it was a nice block. And he does get past. One more attack. 40 hit points. The speed score was on cooldown, by the way. He could have probably given it to the Fire Lord. Yeah, if he gave it to the Fire Lord, he could have cast it, right? On the Fire Lord. This Fire Lord, he takes a lot of damage. Does he? Uh, he dies, yes. And the Mount King also dies. And he has Chain Lighting now. Can he get to the Archmage? No, he can't. Uh, but with speed scroll, he could get that archmage. He's chain lining enough to kill him. He TP's out. Fire Lord will come back here in a moment. There's the raiders. And he's going for this far. She's still can he get the chain lining. Yep. <laughs> he's got so low on hit points though. He should retreat. He killed the heroes. This should be enough for now. He lost his Fire Lord, but he killed two heroes. He could heal up, maybe creep a little bit. Come back once he uh, has Rages with Snares and Grunts with more hit points. He's Militia and uh, the Mountain King is already back. No boots. Well, the first here, Cardal Grimside, level 2. Fire Lord, buy some healing salves. He's going to heal up the Grunts a little bit. There, in this one as well. Maybe. Does he heal this grunt? This grunt could use some healing. There, he gets it. These other grunts are healing. What is uh, Blade doing? He's sitting here and healing with the Mountain King with Footman. There's an Archmage. Let's see if he goes for the War Mill again. No, nope, not yet. I mean, a Wyvern wouldn't be bad here, by the way. Just one Wyvern to do some harass on the Peon line while he's uh, fighting this Mountain King. I mean, this raider's, this raider's just going to die. Uh, this raider, why is it so long hit points? Did he not heal it? I guess he didn't. This uh, sorcerer is almost dead. The mountain king, he has one more store bolt. Does he use it on someone or is he going to die? The archmage is back. There's no nothing to save the mountain king. He's hiding in the forest, guys. He's a forest mountain king now, a forest king. Oh, but chain lightning, and he, d he dies. The Archmage, the far share, I mean, has to TP out. And we have a double lava spawn multiplication thing. Uh, no, he dies. Ah, peasant died. S look at these bodies, though. Three dead raiders. For a priest, a peasant, and a mountain king. She's, he's healing a little bit. You might as well ask why all pro Night of players go Demon Hunter or f or first, or all orcs go Blade Master first, or all humans go Archmage plus Mount King. Huh. Why the fuck does Orc play three times same shit? He's 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 winning with it. He's doing all right with it. Uh, there's some Wolfies. He's getting a Tunnler. <laughs> It comes the Archmage though. Blade with the Archmage. With the Mountain King. Can he can this creature do something? Let's see. 47 against 46. Supply wise is pretty even, but the Mountain King isn't back yet. And now we have uh why is it Fire Lord? Come on, Chaco. The Fire Lord is for Razor Man. There. Nice and stare on a priest. Mountain King is back. Archmage is also pretty uh, nice. But these are the hero levels. He needs a level 3 Archmage. Like the Farseer has been level 3 for quite a... Well... He's been level 3. He's level 3. He's up in XP. And he's gonna creep this. But this is pretty difficult to creep. Hopefully he doesn't lose anything. Let's see if Razor Man can creep this without losing anything. He's killing this the guy. This Grant, I love Grant. Panty is stunned. Can he... You know... Do something. Yeah, the gun survives. The radar also survives. This berserker pretty low. He summons wolfies. They can take a little bit of damage. This lava spawn is gonna multiply. 
And that means he should be fine, maybe, unless there's Raider. Unless he doesn't pay attention to the Raider, he pays attention. This guy does Chaos damage, by the way, so you can't tank it with Raiders. Well, this guy does melee damage, so you don't want to tank it with Raiders. And this guy also does melee damage, so these guys kill Raiders bigger as faster than his level 7. Chaos damage, guys, really, they, they're just, they just mean you have to tank them with units instead of with heroes, right? But uh, the same with the uh, units with melee damage. Really, chaos damage is really bad in this game. I don't understand why uh, they give these creeps chaos damage. Because they would be better with n normal damage. Spiked collar. Does he pick it up? He picks it up. No, Fire Lord, does he pick it up? He picks it up. Spiked collar. Mana burn. Pretty good. You know, against Mountain Kings. Pretty good. A player's forces are under attack. I think the game sounds a bit low, or is it just me? I mean, in comparison to your voice. I think Chaco is just a bit louder. That's why we have Chaco sound effects. Well. Um, okay, I could lower my voice a little bit. If I know how. Oh, there it is. Ah, he's killing peasants here. Um. Uh, There, maybe that's better. Look, he killed two peasants. Nice storm bolt on the spirit walker. Why chaos damage is bad? Because it just does 100 damage to everything. While normal damage does also 100 damage to everything. Except that normal damage does extra against medium armor. And less against fortified. But it's not like, you're, like creeps are ever going to attack your buildings. You're not like you're gonna try to creep with tanks. So it's just a weak it's just a weaker version of normal damage. Here comes the fire here and the fire lord. The fire lord is so close to level three. He's going for a uh, sorceress. Some wolfies here. 59 against 57 supply. There's another uh, lava spawn. This wolfie is Michael back with the fire lord is level three now. So he's gonna use the the little hound, the spikes color. This grunt here takes a lot of damage. A nice storm bolt. We have two coders here in the front. Uh, they're not eating anything because this one can only eat the footman. You don't want to eat footman. In fact, it dies. This coder ate a spellbreaker, but you know there's a lot. Uh, it's a false talker, by the way. The fire here in the front. Hello. Maybe you should might go the fire here. It's a bit dangerous. There's a mountain king somewhere, and he, there it comes from the flank attack. Uh, fire is surrounded now, and he's going to die. And GG. Congratulations. Easy game for Blade, and Blade wins 3-2. to two.